Wolf from ShyCon. And um, I have a history just like Worldcon. Worldcon is very, uh, very much proud of its history and how it's grown over these years. And the thing that links the fan artists with Worldcon and is the fanzines. It's the writers. They, the, the, the fan writers of the fanzines are very much connected. They go hand in hand. I don't want to see that uh, diminished in any way. I don't want it to be the end all and be all for any fan artist who, who does contribute a lot of artwork to fanzines and a lot of artwork to uh, conventions. I mean, I've done sculptures, I've done hall decorations, I've had one, a, one, a thing, I'm sorry it's not eligible, but that tower out there, that is the greatest piece of fan art that you have ever seen. That was totally done at one person's expense, and, and it, it, is, it is a symbol of our convention this year. So <laughs> let's not, you know, diminish fan scenes and, and the importance that, that artists that, who love this stuff, who love these genres, um, that love movies, you know, that, that they, they can't be part of that. Does, okay, and that's what I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Are, are there any other artists here who'd, who'd like to speak? Then I yield the floor. Oh, wait. Are, was that because you're an artist or just wish? OK. Uh, Terry. My name is Terry Neal. And I'm hearing two axes on each side. I'm hearing. One, where we award this to a body of art that was created during a year. And the other side of that being that we award to a person. And so far I've heard that we're more interested in awarding to a body of art created during a year, which may mean a, a change of title when the Hugo Committee takes this. The other thing I'm, access I'm hearing is, do we want this to be a wispus con fan linked uh, fan artist, or do we want it to be any sort of celebration of any kind of fandom anywhere? Um, and I think that uh, that axis is something that we need to work on telling the committee wh which side of that seesaw they, w they should come down on when they, when they uh, look at this again. Okay. Madam Chairman, I'm Kent Bloom, and when, I came, when, when, we, when we created the Committee of the Whole, I was confused about what we were going to do. I thought that we would probably report back to, that uh, no changes. As it is, I'm seeing this is much more complex than I thought originally, uh, particularly in the area of defining what is uh, fan art or fan, uh, a fan artist or Profe uh, what is a professional art, what is professional art or a professional artist? I am quite convinced that uh, our, uh, our that we are giving awards to artists, not to fan not to the artwork, because giving awards to the artwork has not worked in the past, and we should continue to do it that way. However, I am not convinced that we have a good definition of, or at least a simple definition. Uh, that we can understand of what is professional or non-professional art. I don't care which side you define. And therefore, I move that this committee do now rise and, and refer the, recommend that it be referred back to the committee that created it to, do, to better define and more simply define what is a professional and what is a, a fanish art. Second. Um. I mean, heard a second. I apologize. Um, the chair was getting clarification on a parliamentary thing and missed the actual motion, which is very bad on me. I'm very sorry. Can you restate it? I can. 
I uh, move that the committee now rise and report to the main meeting that this should be referred back to the committee, uh, which created it, for a better definition of either professional or non-professional or, uh, or, or professional or fanish art or both. Okay, thank you. I'm very sorry about that. Um, I heard a second. Um, yes, uh, this motion is debatable, I believe. Yes. I'm a little in the weeds and I'm just wanting to make sure I'm doing everything right. Uh, Andrew Adams. Thank you for timing. Um, it's just not going to come out of it. I remain Andrew Adams. Uh, Madam Chairman, as one of the people who was on this committee and who was heavily involved in the development of the wording of this particular uh, proposal, I am not sure that without a significant input of new people with strong uh, opinions and a good idea of what they want on this, that the committee can come up with anything else. So um, I'm, I'm not saying I definitely strongly object to this, but I would suggest that we need a show of hands of people who were not on the committee last year, who have good information and good opinions to put forward into this committee, because otherwise you're going to get the same thing if it's just the same people. So. Could I have a show of hands of people who were not on the committee last year who would be willing to put their time in? Okay, fine. I th therefore withdraw my objection. All right, thank you. Uh, Todd Dashoff? Um, are we going in favor of the, of the motion? Oh, yes, I apologize. Yes, in favor. I don't have to keep going. I'm still in we are still in Committee of the Whole, and therefore debate time is being charged equally. However, it is still sometimes helpful for the body, for people to know an approximation of whether they're arguing in favor or against before they start speaking. <laughs> uh, Madam Chairman, I am still Todd Dashoff. I would request guidance from the chair as to how much time remains so I know how fast to talk. Uh, nine minutes. Thank I'm you. Sorry, eight minutes. I'm not going to, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't two. Uh, Ms. Neal earlier talked about a two-dimensional grid in terms of, okay, you said three. I only heard two, but I was going to say that Mr. Bloom had therefore changed it to a three-dimensional grid. We have to be careful when we're talking here because I've heard the terms being swapped around. We have professional, non-professional. We also have professional fan. They are not the same thing. And I agree with the people that have like Mr. Adams, who have raised the issue. If we don't get guidance as to what is more important from the membership, you're going to get the same thing back because we're going to decide what we think is more important in that three-dimensional grid. And at, right at this point in time, we have come between professional and fan. And non-professional has basically been pushed into one of those buckets. Uh, Kate? Are you approximately speaking for or against? Against. Okay. Hi, I'm still Kate Secor. The only substantive change that I've heard people asking for would be to link fan artists back more strongly to fanzines, which I swear to you now I will oppose with every breath in my body to the point of doing an amendment by substitution if that comes back. Um, I have not heard anyone else have any other objections to the motion as it is. I think it's better than what we had. I think it's a pretty substantial improvement in terms of who gets to be part of the fan artist community. So I, I also share all the doubts that we're going to come up with anything different given the only change that's been proposed is to link it back to fanzines, which was actively, that separation was part of actively the intent of the current motion. So I would oppose sending it back to the committee and just pass what we have. It's probably not going to change that much. Uh, the person in the back with the card, do you need a mic brought to you? I can walk to the right. Okay. Lou Walkoff, and I'll spell that if people want. Um, I'm speaking neither for nor against. It seems to me that one 
the original committee has enough other stuff to do, and two, there is enough depth of feeling to justify it. So I would like to amend the motion to say that a new committee be created specifically to address these two. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's the amount of feeling that I'm hearing <laughs> 